Right. What a game tonight, Matt. It started off, and it was all Trenton in the first eight minutes, forcing Thomas McCollum to be lifted by head coach Nick Matusi. Three goals on five shots. Not a good night for McCollum. The good news is Richards came in. He played well. That's the third one that would send McCollum out, but it was really Brian Newton that got this team going. This is a shorthanded goal right there. Made it three to one. Everyone started to believe that, hey, maybe if we do shape up, we can get a win here tonight. Evan Rank with a beautiful tip there. We saw the power play get going tonight. Yeah, we certainly did. Late in the period, though, Trenton would reestablish a two-goal lead. They lead four to two after one period of play here. Uh, celebrating Elvis's birthday here tonight. And then Toledo in the second period. We get the lone goal of the period of Sebastian Tiche on the power play, a theme we would see all night long. Yeah, the problem was not only did Toledo have the power play going, but Trenton had their power play going as well. There's Derek Nesbitt. That was on the man advantage there. Yeah, even strength here for the walleye as Adam Hobson scored to give Toledo a 5-4 lead. And then Trenton gets a bit of a break there. Nice play as well. And they get the goal to tie it at five. That sent us into overtime, where Mark Nevis blew it past Gerald Coleman. And the Toledo Walleye get the six to five win. Walleye back on the home ice tomorrow night, Saturday night, to take on the Trenton Devils.